Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and I want to wish you a happy Pentecost. And I'm going to be working on Matthew 3.11 today. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. It's John the Baptist saying that of Jesus. And what I decided to do is put a heart around the verse itself. And just drawing that in pencil, kind of roughly, don't stress out about making a perfect heart. Just needs to look roughly heart-shaped, because I'm going to make this whole thing look like it's on fire. That's the goal here. And I'm going to have some flames licking into the heart and then the rest of the flames kind of burning outward from it and then a nice red heart in the middle. And I'm drawing some lines on the outside. I realize later I could have done this without that, but I thought it might help you to sort of see how you can get started. And I'm making some curves. I'm giving myself just some general curve outlines so that when I get to my painting stage, I have almost something to follow. It doesn't have to follow exactly but do it very lightly in pencil, just because it's easier if you end up making a weird curve or it doesn't come out smooth, you can change that, you can erase it. And I'm gonna put in a couple of flames that look almost like water drops and that sort of thing. And you'll see how all this is gonna play out because I'm gonna layer some watercolor along with some watercolor pencil. So I'm gonna start by going right around the edges of my heart because I want the inside of the heart to be red but I want some yellow flames kind of licking inward, if that makes sense. I have them kind of pointing inward. And then I'm gonna just throw some yellow across the page and just let my brush make some flame shapes, sort of. I'm not sure how to explain this well, but the brush, if you use a nice big brush, especially like this one, you can kind of lay it down at the top and then press harder with the brush and it gets wider. So then you end up getting this almost a, a petal shape or a leaf shape for each one of the flames. And I'm just kind of putting some yellow in here and as a background for the rest of the work that I'm doing. If you get to the stage and you're like, oh my gosh, this is best, this is the perfect, I don't need to do any more, you could just leave the flames here and then do your journaling, just let that be a soft background. But I wanted to have some richer color, so I'm gonna do some layering. I started out with my quinacridone coral but it's, it's a transparent color and I wanted a little more beef to it. And you could actually put many layers of quinacridone coral to do that, or you can grab one of your semi-opaques. This pure red is a semi-opaque kind of color. So it's gonna put down a little bit more. I have to be careful with a semi-opaque color or if you're using a kind of watercolor that's more like a gouache, those ones that are a little chalkier, then be careful because you could end up putting down so much color you can't read the text but these are going to work fine for what I'm doing. I'm going to use the color that's on my brush to just make a few more flames in the reds. Go around a few of the, the yellows just to make sure that those yellows kind of stand out. Put a little bit of light background color around them and I'm, I'm kind of being really loose with it and I'm ignoring my pencil lines in some shapes because I don't really have to follow them. It's okay to to kind of move out from them and do something different as your brush kind of makes its its lines across the page. And you can go with heavier color around the outside edges and lighter color in the heart. There are lots of different ways to do that, but I'm just gonna to try to create some layers of watercolor first, because the watercolor is gonna give me a little looser of a background than the watercolor pencil layering that I'm gonna do. So I ironed this, I dabbed off a little of that color first because I didn't want it to get too splooggy on the heart and then ironed it quickly to flatten it out. And once it was good and dry, because you can't do this watercolor pencil while it's wet, so wait till it dries. And I'm gonna color in some orange here and I'm gonna do some orange on the flames and then I'll also use red. So I'm just gonna use two of the watercolor pencils but if you wanna add more yellow, you can do that as well or add other colors and then take my baby wipe and just move some of the color around a little bit if, if my lines are bo bothering me, that sort of thing. But you can also leave the lines. I like the way that the pencil creates some lines, but I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna smooth some out with a baby wipe and not smooth other parts out with a baby wipe. Because this whole thing is just a, a beautiful celebration of the Holy Spirit setting our hearts on fire which wouldn't it have been wonderful to be there for Pentecost when he really did that with so many people all at once and just came upon them and this tongues of fire came. I mean, oh, I, I can't wait to get to heaven and ask what that was like. What did that look like? What did it sound like when people started speaking in tongues immediately and, and already knew how 
to translate what everybody was saying. Like, how did that happen? It, it had to be an amazing moment. So I love Pentecost and celebrating that. At, at my church, we're having a Pentecost art show this weekend. And I've been in charge of it and collecting all the artwork and helping to get it all set up and that sort of thing. So I am probably, while you're watching this video, I might be at church manning the show and uh, making sure everybody's happily viewing it and understanding the works and discussing them with other people because we all did uh, works that are inspired by the Holy Spirit it was our goal to really celebrate the uh, founding of the church. That's kind of what Pentecost is all about. It's the founding of of the church. So I'm, you can see I'm adding more colors to make these flames stand out. So when I put the darker colors in between, and now I'm switching to the red, it starts creating some contrast between the flames and it starts kind of making a big, I don't know, a big flame thing, which is kind of cool. I'm leaving at the bottom and around the heart a little bit of that yellow and even the white of the paper, but I'm stretching out some of those strokes with my baby wipe. And at the top, especially, I want it to fade off into the top edge so I can just kind of take the baby wipe and lift it as I get to the tip of it and make these really kind of feathery marks so that I kind of have this, this flames going across the whole page. So yeehaw for that. And spread some of them out. If there's any of them that bother you, just kind of go right over top of it. I'm even gonna mix some of the colors now with the yellow so that they blend a little bit together, but I retain some of that contrast between them. And you can do this whole process repeatedly. And here I'm just gonna add more of that pearl red because I wanted a, a stronger red. I end up having to fix my heart um, a couple times because it started losing its shape a little bit and getting fatter on one side and then the other and that sort of thing. But with this technique of just constantly going back and forth, you can keep modifying the art as you go and make it come out the way you want it to. And then the last step, you can even leave that pencil showing because now you've got all those, that rich blending going on underneath and letting those pencil lines show is almost, I think, more impactful than trying to water it all out and make everything perfectly smooth and that sort of thing. So adding a little bit of that there. Then I wanted to add the text onto it. So I started with a piece of tracing paper and then I set the tracing paper down below so I could get an idea of how far I could go with my pencil um, so that I didn't run out of room. I'm always running out of room for my text. And then I grabbed one of my Micron pens. It's the number two that has that little chisel nib so that it automatically looks like it's calligraphy, even though it's really just my silly handwriting. Baptized with fire. So there we go. Happy Pentecost to you. I hope you are having a wonderful celebration at your churches this weekend. Go do something Pentecost themed and share it over on my Facebook page. I'd love to see what you're creating. And I will see you again next Sunday with another video. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.